I have in my hands my pre-order copy of the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. And I'm happy to share with you that it has custom video modes. So here I'm going to share with you what custom video modes are, why you need them, and how to set them up on this camera. Custom modes for video let you switch between multiple resolutions and frame rates, but also keep your shutter speed, aperture, and ISO for each of those frame rates. So I can set up one custom video mode to be 4K 60 frames per second with a shutter speed of 125, or roughly double my frame rate, with an appropriate f-stop and ISO for the ambient light. I can set up another custom mode to be 4K at 24 frames per second with a shutter speed of 50 and f-stop and ISO to match for that situation. This lets me easily switch between settings by just one mode dial. It'll also remember many other settings between those custom modes like crop mode enabled or disabled, sound settings, even white balance and picture profile settings. Being a wedding filmmaker, I need to be able to easily switch frame rates and sometimes I don't have enough time to dive into the menu and change five different things before I need to start shooting again. I may be shooting slow-mo at 60 frames per second right before the ceremony, but need to switch over to 24 frames per second during the ceremony, and then after the ceremony, switch back into 60 frames per second for the exit. These custom video modes aren't just for wedding filmmakers, but also for anyone who's run and gun type, who doesn't have time to dive into the menu and change a whole bunch of settings between each situation. So now that you know what custom video modes are and why you may need them, Here's how to set them up on the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. Well, by default, it goes into a P or program auto exposure mode for all three of the custom modes. We're going to have to switch it over to our preferred mode, in this case, manual. Make sure the photo video switch is set to video. Go into the menu and change all the settings the way you want C1 to be set up. C2 and C3 will be set up this way to begin with, but you can go back and change each of those later. After you've got all of the settings the way you want them for C1, go back into the menu, go over to the wrench icon on the sixth page, custom shooting mode, go into register settings, and go ahead and register your settings for C1, C2, and C3 in video mode. You'll also want to scroll down to auto update settings and set that to enable. Setting this to enable makes it so that when you switch from C1 to C2, it saves any changes that you make so that in the future you go to them and they'll be what you last had them set at. And that's all there is to it. So now you can set your custom modes to exactly how you want them to suit your shooting needs. This is one of the huge features that was left out on the original R6 and why up to this point I've just stuck with the EOS R. It has had some drawbacks like no full frame 4K and also no 60 frames per second in 4K. But now that I have the R6, it's even full frame 60 frames per second 4K. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping to add a lot more content like this, both about the R6 and about other workflow things that we do. If you have any questions about this camera or ideas for future videos, please drop them in the comment section below.